Hi everyone. I completed just a couple small kits. Um, I first made these. I didn't make, well, I started to make the bracelet and to be honest with you, I messed up and cut the leather a little short. So I'm going to use the leather, but for something else and the beads and uh, stuff from that for something else. And I didn't do the other one with the leaf on it yet. I didn't try that because it was very late last night when I started these. And then I did make this, but I made an extra piece. So let me show you. This was my second Annie's Simply Beads. And this is for me. These, these kits are for me to wear. So yay. Because <laughs> I don't feel right about selling to others something that came out of those kind of kits. I'm not really designing it myself. So anyway, these are the little earrings with the bee. Aren't they cute? With that tiny little flower I just love. Oh, this light is driving me nuts. There we go. Even when it focuses, it goes out of focus. There we go. So those are the earrings, and they feel like stainless steel ear hooks. I'm not for sure about that, but I just thought those were adorable. So then the necklace is here, and I love this necklace. I will say there were there was um, one part that was pretty tricky, and that is the second cone because you have to crimp. And get it to go down into that cone and I have it just a tad loose see, like you can see a little bit more beading wire here <laughs> but it, it probably could have been just a tad more snug and but I don't want to take it apart and redo it and I did use everything that they gave us I used their tiger tail their crimp beads these are eight millimeter jump rings turned into a love knot um, that, there boy it's lighting this camera is just bad there it's not my phone either and then the other tricky part was you cut eight six inch lengths of chain but you had to cut one link beyond the six inches oh my gosh this chain is so fine and my eyes were at 10 30 or 11 at night last night were just um having a little trouble seeing that itty bit of little spot to cut the chain and make sure I got them even but I finally did it eight pieces four on each side that are wrapped through the love knot so it's a really cool design and then um, you hook them onto a six inch uh, sorry six millimeter jump ring on the ascend and then you attach the clasp with a four millimeter jump ring on both ends and um, really pretty very Beachy. This is called Sea Breeze, actually. And then you also um, got oops, uh, a pair of earrings, which I almost dropped the other one off, and even the, the rubber ear stoppers, which is a nice touch. So they're pretty. I always pick out the beads for the earrings first, uh, just in case there aren't any that are nice ones, because I always like the earrings to look nicer. And then that was the kit so the necklace and the earrings but i had this much chain left and this many beads and even i had one extra little pearl and i made a dangle over here with an extra head pin um and i found a silver lobster clasp so and these are actually beadalon quick links and they're about a 10 millimeter so i just made a bracelet which i just got tangled up <laughs> Uh, how bizarre of course I'm live all right so let's see if I can do it on here I did last night and that was 11 30 at night so hopefully if I can get a hold of the clasp I can do it again of course not anyway <laughs> can't do it by myself anyway uh, that is the bracelet so and it fits me just uh, just nice it's a little snug which is good because otherwise I mean it's not tight tight I have a six and a half inch wrist so this is probably between a six and a half and six and three quarter inch um, bracelet and that used everything in the kit except one cone which was an extra in case I guess you mess up that's just the little tie on that was on the chain uh, one eight millimeter jump ring, two eight millimeter jump rings, a six millimeter, I think I had two of those and used one of them, a four millimeter, 
one earring hook, one crimp tube, one plastic thingy, and two more head pins. There would have been three more head pins, and um, I did use one six millimeter jump ring. It's on, on here. Um, and then I did use, um, I think I had to use my own beading wire because I think the tiger tail was all gone. Um, but I used the crimp beads that came in the kit. Uh, they were silver crimp tubes, I mean. So I had three more, so I had two, two I used here. And yeah, I think I used soft touch because uh, I had it on my desk by Softlex in a silver satin silver color. So yeah, that's my set that I made from the Annie Simply Beads and the kit, like I said, is just the, the necklace and the earrings, but I had enough left. I made a little bracelet, which I can close. I just can't do it on camera. <laughs> So that's what I worked on late last night. Um, sometime over the weekend, I'll be working on other kit, you know, like the bigger kits um, from Bargain Bead Box as well as Softlex companies. And I, at this point, I'm probably going to just start working with March. And then if I get time in the rest of March, I'll work on um, February's. So I'll go backwards <laughs> and January's. So, uh, I don't know. They may just get done whenever I get a chance. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please come back. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, the thumbs up. And don't forget also to ring the notification bell so you always know when I post another video. Uh, finished jewelry pieces. Maybe some more tutorials if that turns out okay with the one I just put up a little while ago. And... Um, let's see what else uh collaborations too that i'm in in this on this channel and probably more fun in the future <laughs> talk to you soon hugs love and peace